Hello everybody, this is me, Pinkstar Gamer 66 and today is a brand new Minecraft video. And today I am doing the Aquatic Update add-on. Or, wait, no. <laughs> Aquatic Update Showcase. So, Minecraft added this super cool update and it is called the Aquatic Update and it adds a whole bunch of new fish, animals, items, weapons and armor, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, I really wanted to show you that and I'm in my showcase world. You can see that's where the door showcase was and I think that's where the Easter showcase was or something like that. But, um, I'm in my tutorial world or showcase world and today I'm going to be showing you the Aquatic add-on. So I have this little pool of water here. So this is my testing pool. So that's where I'm going to show you all the fish. But right now I am going to start off with the armor and weapons since there's only two. So the first one, um, oops, hold on. I think, um, well these had randomly disappeared, but... The armor and weapons, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and that these are in the chest all alone. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you the armor and weapons. So the first one is a trident. So this is really cool. So it kind of shoots like a bow, except you don't need any arrows for it. I believe it drops off of certain mobs. And so this is the trident. It looks really cool in your hand. Um, if I go to my armor, that's how it looks in your hand. It's really cool, and basically, you just tap and hold if you're on Pocket Edition. Well, it, the update is only on Pocket Edition, I think, or a computer. But I know it's not on PS4 or Xbox, but you just tap and hold on the screen, and it pulls back, and then you just shoot it, just like in um, Bow and Arrow. Except you don't need arrows for it, and it's just one item. So it does really good damage against mobs. So I am just going to get a zombie just for... Um, testing. So, I put it here. Oh, it's gonna burn anyways. But you just pull back the trident and it hits it. And basically, yeah. So, that's the trident is. You can see the trident is stuck in the ground. Just like an arrow would be in the ground. Except it looks like a gigantic trident. Which is super cool. So, yeah. So, that is the trident. And the next armor, or the last armor, is a turtle shell. And so this you could just put on your head. It looks super cool. I'm not exactly sure what it does. Oh, it gives you water breathing. So that is really cool. So it gives you water breathing so you can breathe underwater. So this would be super helpful if you're like going on like an ocean adventure, looking for a sea temple, something like that. This would be super helpful, a turtle shell, because it will help you breathe underwater for a longer, uh, for a longer period of time. It also looks super cool on your head. But yeah, so that is the turtle shell. Um, the next thing I'm going to be showing you is the extra items. So these are just um, new random items that they added. So the first one is a scoop. So I am not exactly sure what you can craft with a scoop, but um, it looks like this cool like little jelly thing. I'm going to see if I go into survival mode. Um, S. Your game mode has okay. been updated to, so survival. to survival. Set on game mode to survival. Like scoop, maybe? Um, I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. But it doesn't look like you can craft anything right now with the scoop. I'm not exactly sure. But um, this it just looks really cool. I, I, Your um, game mode has been updated display, to creative. Set on scoop. game mode to creative. Okay, so the next thing is a heart of the sea. I dropped the scoop on the floor. Next thing is heart of the sea. So this is really, really cool. It's like this little blue dome. I believe that you can like use this in temples and sea temples or something like that. But I know this might have a use. And yeah, so this is the heart of the sea. And it's just really cool, like, blue blue bubble <laughs> looking thing. So, yeah, that's the heart of the sea. The next thing is a sea pickle. So, this, if you put it down on the regular ground, it just looks like that. And I believe if you put it in the water, then, oh, you can't put it in the water. But you can see that there's, like, a little um thing that comes out of it when you put it in the water. There's, like, a little um white thing like in the picture that comes out of it that it doesn't come out on land but yeah so that is the sea pickle it's really cool it doesn't really have a use for it right now i think it's 
might just be for display, but it looks really cool. And yes, yeah, so that's the sea pickle. Um, the next thing is the Natalis, Natalis, Natalis shell. I believe that's how you say it, Natalis shell. So this is just like a shell. You can't put it on. It's not armor. Um, you can put it on your offhand, but you can put everything on your offhand. <laughs> so, I'm not exactly sure you, you can do anything with this right now, but it's just a really cool, um, shell. And, yeah, so that's a Nutella shell. The next thing is kelp. And so, it's just like this one string of kelp right here. I don't think you can place it down anywhere. Um, uh, but yeah, but it's just a cool decoration. And, yeah, so that's the kelp. The next thing is the t sea turtle egg. The sea turtle egg, yeah. So the next thing is like, it's not a spawn egg, what you're thinking. So yeah, it's not a spawn egg, but it's just for decoration, I believe. And it's just this really cool egg, and it looks like this. And so, and then if you break it, it makes this really cool sound. I don't know if you heard it in the video, but it makes this really cool sound when you break it. And it also looks really cool, so this can just be for display, and it looks really awesome, just like that. So that is the sea turtle egg. The next thing is seagrass, and that's the last thing, actually. So this is seagrass. I believe that you can only place it in the, um, in the water. And, oh, there it was, and it disappears. But that is seagrass, as you can see right there. And so that is what seagrass looks like. And it's basically just grass for under the water. So, yeah, so that's seagrass. And that is the last extra item. And so now we are moving on to the um, blocks. So we'll move on to the blocks now. So there's a lot of new blocks that, um, to show you. So the first one is the tube co coral. So they're basically all coral blocks except for this one. So I'm going to show you this one first. This is the dried kelp block. So it's just a, basically a block of kelp. And it just looks like that. Kind of looks like a present. And looks pretty cool. So then there's a whole bunch of just, just different types of coral. So there's the tube coral, the brain coral, the bubble coral, the fire coral, horn coral, coral and then there's the um, dead tube coral, the dead brain coral, the dead bubble coral, the dead fire coral, and the dead horn coral. And then there's the actual coral, like this, so fire, um, bubble, tube, and horn. And then there's the fan coral as well. And there's just so many different types of coral. And then there's dead fan coral. And it's just crazy how many different types of coral they added. So this is the tube coral, the brain coral, the bubble coral, the fire coral, and the horn coral. And as you can see, if they're not underwater, then they turn into these. They turn into the dead um, corals of their color. So you want to, if you're building with these, you most likely want to place them in the water so that they keep their color. Or else you might as well just make a dead <laughs> coral block because they won't um, keep their color if they're not in water. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm like breaking a whole bunch of stuff. But I'll just show you right here. So this is the coral. So that is the tube coral. As you can see the blue, the brain coral, the bubble, the fire, and the horn coral. So it looks really pretty underwater, and it's just different types of um, variety colored uh, blocks. So that is really cool, and those are more for building underwater if you want them to keep their color. And so the next thing is the actual coral. So there's a whole bunch of different types of this as well. And I'm not going to show you the fan coral because that's basically just shorter versions of this coral. So this you can only place underwater again. So this is the brain coral. I mean the tube coral right there. The fire coral. The brain coral. The um, horn coral. The bubble coral. And yeah. So I believe I already showed you the brain coral. So yeah. So those are all the different types of corals underwater. And the fan coral is just basically shorter versions of so I'm going to go ahead and put these back in this chest. I don't have all these on my inventory. These will be great for building underwater though because <laughs> you don't want to build with them above water or like I said, they'll just turn into dead coral and they won't look as pretty 
as they would underwater with their colors. So I recommend if you want to if you want to decorate or build with those blocks that you do it in like an aquarium or underwater. And so they also added something new to Minecraft. It doesn't really have to do with the Playdick add on that much. So I put it in this chest under here if I can even get to it. Um no. The, the right there. Okay, there you go. So they added the strip blocks. So there's stripped oak wood, spruce wood, birch wood, j um, jungle wood, acacia wood, and dark oak. So those are like new types of woods there that you can build with. They look really cool. And yeah. So on to the best part of the add on, which is the new game. Is the tropical thing. dolphin which is i think is my absolute favorite it's the dolphin the sea turtle a drowned um and then they have buckets of the fish that you can just that's basically like a spawn egg except they spawn in water with them so that you don't have to get a whole separate bucket of water you could just get a bucket of fish and then the fish spawn in as well as the water but this is the tropical fish so they come in all different colors so um you can't really see them that well um, let's see if I will, if I'm gonna make like a another separate pool. So I'm just gonna place a bucket of tropical fish. So as you can see there, that's a tropical fish. They come in all different colors. There's a green one. There's a like brown one. Another green one. A red one. Blue one. There's really tiny, cute little fish. And yeah, so those are the tropical fish. They come in all varieties of different colors. And yeah. The next fish is the puffer fish. So I'm just going to make another little container. And this is the puffer fish. So right now it looks kind of weird, but then if you hit it, then it puffs up and it turns into the puffer fish that we know from Minecraft. And it just flops around because the water pool is not big enough. But if you hit it, it does poison you. Just like if you eat a puffer fish, it poisons you. It poisons you. But it only stays like that for a little bit of time and it goes back into the tiny little fish that it was before. But yeah, so you don't want to hit these things, but if you do hit them, then it turns into a gigantic, big puffer fish. <laughs> so yeah, that's the new puffer fish. And the next thing is the salmon, and the salmon is actually my favorite type of seafood. So this is the salmon. It did not go into the pool of water like I expected, but you see it flopping around right here. So it's just like a very long fish. Oh, it found the water. <laughs> it's just a very long fish. It has a green head, green tail. It looks super cool. And it drops, um, I believe that they, it dropped, well, yeah, it drops its fish. So it drops salmon. And the salmon new, now has a new, like, icon and everything. I can't get this fish. <laughs> but it has a new icon and everything. So there you go. So that's the new salmon. And it looks really cool. And then, of course, there's also tropical fish. And there is the cod. So I haven't showed you the cod yet. This is the cod fish. It's just a really ugly looking brown fish. It's just kind of like a boring regular fish. And yeah, so that's the cod fish. So the next, so the rest of these should be big enough to fit in my example pool, my testing pool. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the sea turtle. So this is the sea turtle. It's super cool. It's really bright green and it's super cute. So this is where the tea, the sea turtle shell comes from. And this is also where the sea turtle egg comes from. So this is the cute little sea turtle. So the next thing is my all-time favorite, which is the dolphin. So they're so cute. So they're just little tiny, kind of like grayish, whitish, bluish dolphins. And they look like real dolphins too. So now you don't need a world animals add-on when you have the aquatic add-on from Minecraft. So this is super cool. And it's just little dolphins. And they're really cute. So the last thing is a drowned. And I believe this is the mob that drops the trident. So this is the drowned. It's just like a zombie. It burns in the daylight. On rare occasion, they will have a trident, but that is how it looks. So it kind of has like a blue creeper face. It kind of looks like a really defected dirt block. And yeah, so that's the drowned. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get one with the trident. Um, sometimes they have tridents. Sometimes they don't. Um, but on rare occasion, you'll see one with the trident. And if one does have a trident, then you want to try to get that because tridents are really awesome, which I showed you in the armor and weapons. 
But yeah, so that is the new aquatic update to Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is me, Pinkstar Gamer 66 and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!